First thing, Allah says, فَإِذَا كَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنِ When you read Qur'an, فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ Then seek refuge, seek refuge in Allah. The point I'm trying to make here is, it is so important because the divine rule is, the divine rule is that shaitan has dominion over human beings. And so the first thing you say is, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ A'udhu billah, a'udhu billah, in its many different forms. A'udhu bi kalimatullahi tamad, a'udhu bi rabbil falak, a'udhu bi rabbil nas, a'udhu billah, in all the different forms of du'as the Prophet has given us. A'udhu billahi minash shaytan rajim. Now shaytan is anfa'lan, and rajim is anfa'il. Just like Rahman is anfa'lan, and Rahim is anfa'il. Okay? Rahmah of Allah, Rahman is the Fa'lan, it's on the weight, on the pattern of fa'lan, meaning this is what somebody can be rich. It doesn't mean he spends his richness, it doesn't mean he spends his, mer his mercy. Allah is Ar Rahman, He is full of mercy, and He's Rahim, He spends His mercy, He gives it away. He is very, very generous in His mercy. Okay, so but He, Shaytan is a Shaytan is burnt and he is cursed and he is rajim and he is always throwing you know rajam means to throw in the dart dar like a dart you throw the dart in rajman bil ghayb these are the words in surah al throwing your dart in the darkness right you're trying to just guess 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 and this is what shaitan makes human beings do he brings you to curse and brings you into just get a guessing game, a world of speculation, what happens in economics, what happens in the news. It's all leading people by speculation. Just guess what? They don't follow except conjecture, their own opinions, their guesstimations that are not based upon anything. Okay? Now, uh, now what is very important is that shaitan wants to create that world that he was jealous, that he's now jealous of. He wants to create that world here in, in dunya, right? And he wants to do it by creating a world that does opposite of the rules of there. He wants the hierarchy there, starting with his arsh, going all the way down to the foot soldiers and control over human beings, right? And so, he has always tried to do this in the same pattern, always making one one civilization to another civilization to another civilization to another civilization, making them worship idols. Because Hinduism, idol worshipping, it has always these many gods. Some gods are on top, some gods are in the bottom. And this is the type of pyramid scheme that he then wants to put into human beings. Human beings that are on top, human beings that are in the bottom. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means وَلَا تَعْبُدُ الشَّيْطَانِ إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ مُبِينٌ Do not become wor worshippers of shaitan. He is your enemy. He is going to put you in a system of, you know, just guesswork where you don't have the mercy, where you will be burnt out like shatana, where you will be cursed, okay? And so you're seeking Allah's refuge from that, that power that He's been given to put you in a in a, a world of no stability, of rajim, of rajam, and into that world where you're outcast from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why you say, I'm not with the party of shaitan. I want to be with the party of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the party of Allah that has the mercy of Allah, that brings mercy, that spends its mercy, that has the mercy in the heart and spends its mercy. Okay, the point I'm trying to make here is what? Is that shaitan wants the hierarchy, okay? He wants to be on the top, but he wants a world where the rules are completely against sharia, completely against the divine laws, completely against the divine will, so that he can then say to Allah, see, I led them astray. Okay? And then, you see, his relationship with Dajjal comes here. Because when Shaitan went from one civilization to another civilization, one time to another time, he would bring them back to worshipping idols. There are other reasons too, which I won't go into, because one of the ways that Shaitan can communicate with human beings easily, okay, is by 
through an object. Okay, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalali rahmatullah he mentions this. That you know that how do you know if your hearing is something from the angels or from the uh, from the shayateen? One of the uh, ways is that if you're hearing a voice from an object, okay, this leads us to a more issues which I'm not going to go into right now. But if you hear a voice and you can't tell where it is coming from, it has no direction, okay, and it has no uh, no like uh, physical place as such. And uh, then it is, uh, if it doesn't have direction or physical place, then it is from the other world. And it, if it is, it has a certain locale, has certain place, then it is the shayateen. Okay, just leave that at this point because I don't want to go into more details. Okay, but I was only mentioning that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, has allowed shaitan this control. Okay, and he wants to do from one civilization to another civilization. He tries to do the same sins, tries to get human beings to do what the people of Lut did, or what the people of Fir'aun did, or what the people of Saleh did, and get tries to get them to worship in the same way, to worship him, to pray to him. Okay, because when you're praying to an idol, you're praying to him, right? And so this is now Shaytan is his biggest Shaytan's biggest trick is the jab. Okay, because there are certain things the jal is willing to do and will do that shaitan will not do. Okay, one of the things that shaitan will not do is to claim to be God. One of the things that shaitan will not do is to fight in a battle against Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. You know this in the battle of Badr, right? What happens when the two, when the mega Fir'aun Abu Jahl was there? against the Prophet in the battle of Badr. What happened? The mega Fir'aun, you know, he saw the Prophet and the, shay his, the shayateen, they saw, the shaytan saw the Prophet and the mega Fir'aun was needed. You see, because when the shaytan saw the Prophet and his army, they said, what? We're going now. <laughs> We've done our job, we have to go. There are certain things shayateen cannot do, they cannot withstand. Okay, and to do that, to fight against the truth at a certain level, the shaitan can't do it. He needs someone else to do it. And and from one, from the beginning of time, shaya, shaitan knew, just like he knew there will be a day, till the day of judgment, Allah give me time, and Allah gave him time to lead people astray. Shaitan had his bag of tricks. He knew the big jinns and the small jinns, and he knew the jinns who had fought against the angels before, and he knew which of the jinns to use for his biggest bag of tricks. Okay, and so, so uh, Shaitan uh, has his throne on the water and islands, as you know, the Jal is on an island. How? What did I say? What we don't see, we don't know its condition, and so. He gets them to do the same sins, alcohol, divorce, and not that divorce is always a sin, but in many cases it is, and in many cases it's not, but it's the same pattern. It is the idea of control of human beings, and now when the foot soldiers have brought the human beings to a certain point, now when you release your big jinn, when you release your big dajjal, when you release your big deception, and you play out the ultimate drama of what is in the heavens. Here comes the Messiah from the heavens, right? Like a UFO, like an alien, somebody who's coming, you know, somebody's coming and giving revelation. And then here's the agents who are getting the revelation and so, so on and so forth. Okay. And he's going to use technology to have that information that the angels have in the heavens. Shaitan wants the hierarchy of the heavens with his arsh on top, but he wants the rules to be completely against the rules that are played out in the heavens. And the Jal is willing to say, I am God. The Jal is willing to fight against Isa. Isa said, you know, I cast out the devils by the permission of Allah. If Iblis cannot stand in front of Isa So he won't even be there. He's going to push the Jal to do his job. And so this is the relationship that, that the bigger the fitna, the closeness they have to shaitan. 
and then shaitan or iblis releases him when the foot soldiers have done their footwork and gotten everything ready and when everything is in place and he now has information using technology like the people of the like he used to get from the angels you see that was a big setback for shaitan and he couldn't get the information anymore so I will end here a full of only Hala Astaghfirullah Ali Walakum Wali Sa'ar al Muslimina Wal That was a very, very um interesting video and when it comes to idol worshipping I, I think that's a point that I'll pick up for the second part of this video. When it comes to idol worshipping, I mean look at what happened just was it last week or these previous weeks that uh, we've been going through? Um, for example, in a country like India, people are dying because of the so-called virus. People have been uh, complaining, or may, rather news outlets have been showing us that many people in India are dying because of the virus. And certain people, not all of them, certain people were actually questioning themselves and throwing these idol idols they worship away because they're saying if if this is god then he or she should be able to save our people but that the the idols are not actually saving the people from the virus it speaks a lot ask yourself but then sometimes mm, on the other side of things sometimes if it's your time to go it's your time to go we can't really question god at the end of the day, maybe people should rethink of who they follow. They should rethink of who they worship. India is just an example, but there are so many examples that we could look at. And we're going to ask ourselves, but where was God during all these times? But others that are actually content with whomever they pray to will say, this is just a passing phase, we're not going to go through this. For the rest of our lives we're just glad to be happy but otherwise death 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 is something else death is something else but let me know what you guys actually think about idol worshiping what you have to say about what is what is happening in india and such stuff that's if you guys even watch um that's if you guys watch news let me know what you guys actually think but at the end of the day remember that if you have information that your friends don't have, always share it with them in a way that they want to listen to you. You know what? Why don't you try this remedy? You know what? Why don't you come to my, um, if it's a Bible study, if it's a Bible something, and just listen. And just encourage them not to be depressed because of what the world is going through right now. Be your friend's shoulder and let them lean on you help them out with whatever they are going through otherwise let me know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video